Hey everybody, I'm Eric. Welcome to another episode of Divers Den Deep Dive. Today I'm here to tell you about the Randall's Goby. The Randall's Goby, also known as the Orange Striped Shrimp Goby, was first discovered in the Western Pacific in 1978. The body is white with orange stripes with one orange stripe over the eyes and around its entire head. The male may be identified by the fan-like dorsal fin that bears a dramatic eye spot. The Randall's goby requires an aquarium of 10 gallons or larger in size. It is a peaceful fish but may occasionally quarrel with conspecifics if kept together or if the tank is too small. When first added to an aquarium, it may not eat for several days. However, once settled in and acclimated, it will begin eating. It is not aggressive towards other shrimp gobies and may even share a burrow with other species. It is possible for the Randall's goby to form a symbiotic relationship with any pistol shrimp. The shrimp does a fair amount of the digging and burrowing while the goby keeps an eye out for predators. If a goby and shrimp do pair up and share a burrow, the goby will position itself at the entrance of the burrow and stand guard. The shrimp always keeps an antenna on the end of the goby near its tail. If danger is present, the goby uses a special flick of its tail to signal the shrimp so it can retreat back to the burrow. Pretty cool. The diet of the Randall's goby should consist of a variety of frozen thawed enriched brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, and other prepared marine fish foods. It needs to be fed at least twice a day. Thanks for watching today's episode of Divers Den Deep Dive, Randall's goby. Until next time, feed, siphon, repeat.